All right. Well, for the uh, third section here of 5-3, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to solve some functions that have multiple angles. So sometimes you're going to find out that you have uh, in front of your theta or in front of your, uh, in this case, a t, you'll have a number out here. And what you're going to do is you're going to need to solve the equation f um, for just actually just for you and then what you're going to do is you're going to end up and divide your results by k. So if we look at example 7 basically what you're going to be doing is you're going to be solving um, the sine whoops, that wasn't supposed to happen. Uh, you're going to be solving the sine of t equals a radical 3 over 2. What we're going to do is we're going to disregard this 2 for the moment. So if we find the two, um, two quadrants that your sign is positive, that's going to be in 1 and 2. And if we want to find the two t values where um, you get a radical 3 over 2, that's your y value. So you want to find out in your first quadrant, where is your y value radical 3 over 2? And in your second quadrant, where is your y value radical 3 over 2? Well, that's going to be at pi over 3 and you're going to have an answer at 2 pi over 3. So now we're not given an interval on which our equations are um, evaluated, so we need to add a 2 in pi to each of our answers. We always have to add that if we're not given a specific interval. So now what we have is these are where our t values were found, uh, where we just find like the sine of t. So what we're going to do is we're going to revisit our 2 and we're going to plug a 2 in front of each of these equations. Now in order to solve this equation, or each of these equations, we just have to divide both sides by 2. So we have to divide both t values by 2. So that means we're going to end up getting t is equal to a pi over 6 plus n pi, and then for the bottom answer, we're going to get t is equal to a pi over 3 plus n pi. And then that is going to end up being your solution. So if we just put a little box around here, there are your t values. So the main thing you have to do <coughs> is you just have to remember that you need to uh, basically disregard your number in front of your t, solve for that function, find your answers, and then plug that number back in the front, and then you can solve for t. And then your last step is to divide by that number.